this video you will learn when and how to create supermetrics leveraging the if then else statement. Our current use case is I need to get a notification when the vCPU count on certain virtual machines has changed. In that use case we have VMs with vCPU count set to 4 as default and we need a supermetric indicating if the vCPU count is still 4 or if it has changed. In simple words, if vCPU equals 4, set supermetric to 1, else set supermetric to 0. The simplest way to create such a supermetric is to use the ternary if then else operator. It provides exactly what we need here. As always, we begin with a name and a short description. As this supermetric will be a flag, we don't need any unit. As the virtual machine object is the same object for the input metrics and the output supermetric, we use the already known this option. Now we create the formula matching our if then else operator. First we select the metric for our conditional expression. And then we compare that metric provisioned vCPUs with a static value of 4. And here we set the supermetric to 1 if the condition is true or 0 if the condition is false. In the preview mode we can test a new supermetric to see if it really returns the expected value. The best way to do this is to select some virtual machines where we exactly know the number of configured vCPUs. In the legacy view we again see the very simple structure of the if then else statement. And the very last steps are as always selecting the right object type to assign the supermetric to and activate the supermetric in the policy. Now the supermetric is available for consumption. After a few collection cycles we see the new supermetric having the value 0 on all VMs which are configured with the vCPU count different than our default value 4. This new supermetric can now be used very easily in alert definitions, dashboards or reports. In this video you have learned when and how to create supermetrics using the if then else statement. In the next video you will learn how to export and import supermetrics, where to find additional examples, and I will show you a few tips regarding supermetrics. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you don't miss the next part.